Once you've put all the editing love you want on your video and checked it once or twice to make sure everything looks good, it's time to create your avatar's mouth movements to match the speech. You can do this easily by clicking Submit in AI Studio. If you get the quite common error message that there is more workspace than speech in your video or vice versa, you can double check that your scene and your speech track end at the same place in the timeline by dragging out or in the avatar track. When you press submit and get to the next step, you get the opportunity to rename your video. Choose where in your personal folder organization, in Heijen, it should be saved, as well as choose the resolution and file format. At the bottom, there is a button where, if included in your payment plan, you can remove Heijen's watermark. It's reasonably anonymous, so it's not a big deal if you forget to turn it off, but here's the option anyway. When you're happy with your selections, click Submit, and Heijen will start applying its AI magic to your video. You get a thumbnail with a percentage on your home page where you can see how far the process has gone, and when it's done processing, you can click on it and see the result. On the page of your finished video, you get the option to share it directly with someone you want to see the video via email or social media. For example, if you click on share and then publish, your video will be made public to whoever has a link. You get the link by clicking on copy video link and then send or publish it where you want. The link leads to a simple HeyGen video player where your video can be viewed. In this mode, you can also translate your video into another language and I will come back to that. There is also a button here giving you the option to download the video to your computer. And that is a good idea for many reasons. Partly to be able to upload it wherever you want, but also to safely archive your videos on your own hard drives. The resolution options vary depending on your payment plan or the resolution your avatar was created with. Please select the highest available before downloading your file. Often you also want to include subtitles in your video, and now is the time you have the opportunity to create them for your videos. Stay tuned for the next episode where I teach what you need to know about that.